What is a marine protected area? MPAs or marine protected areas are special places in the ocean on the shore that are set aside for special protection. The north coast of California is one of the 10 richest places in the world's oceans. The north coast has six state marine reserves and 13 state marine conservation areas, uh, as well as one specially designated area in Humboldt Bay where you can uh, hunt waterfowl. There are a couple different types of uh, marine protected areas that are part of the new network. Um, those are state marine reserves, and that's the most protected. The rules are leave it alone, so you can go there, you can enjoy it, um, you can surf, snorkel, dive, do whatever you want, but anything that's there, you, you leave it as it is. And then the other major category is state marine conservation area. There's a pretty wide range and they vary by area. You just need to look and, and look what the local regulations are for those. I worked uh, with the Harbor District Commission and with other governments of the region to try to get marine protected areas that were both larger and also away from areas that were fished intensively. I ascribe to the theory that larger marine protected areas are more likely to have the benefits that were intended. The marine protected areas are a way to monitor the, the science of the area and to really look at how the ecosystem is changing over time. Marine protected areas can serve as natural laboratories to allow scientists to monitor them and determine whether um, changes we may see in the ocean are the result of maybe related to local fishing pressure um, or may be related to larger changes in the ocean like um, climate change or ocean acidification. We're hoping to see eventually more fish, a, a greater diversity of species, and larger fish. It takes years, decades, literally, for this process to occur. So it's a long-term solution to enhancing marine resources. And you know, many people have been making their living off the, the ocean, um, the fish, for so many years, and people can't do that anymore. So I think it's really important that we can look at how do we protect them, how do we conserve, how do we manage so that people can indeed make a living again.